Digital Versity will scale up cross enrollment ratio in higher education, Dharmendra Pradhan said. Satluj Career Fest 2023 Innovation, Entrepreneurship, and Life Skills will drive careers of the future. To encourage children, Army holds snow art competition in Ramban's district. Film Institute students end protest after peace talk with Kerala government. Prime Minister Narendra Modi interacts with youngsters on Parakram Divas. Good afternoon and welcome. You're watching Education News Network, where you get to watch the latest relevant in education as a top of the star. This is Balaji reporting from ENN and the Daily Stories app. Union Minister for Education, Skill Development and Entrepreneurship, Dharmendra Pradhan, has said that the National Digital University, will, which will be launched by the end of 2023, will increase the gross enrollment ratio in the higher education. He said that the presence of the National Digital University would scale this up from 27% enrollment. The minister was speaking after the inauguration of the second floor of the Logos Lecture Hall at the National Institute of IITs in Tiruchi on Sunday. He said that there should be a collaboration between IITs, IIMs and NITs for the research and innovation intended to benefit of the people of the country. The minister also said that the focus on the online education collaboration between the existing institutions and starting new ones would be leading to the activation of the intended target of 50 GER in these days of to come. Dharmendra Pradhan said that the impending entry of the selected foreign universities was intended as a cost-effective alternative for some students who would join foreign universities without any knowledge of the studying of those universities globally. The minister also assured support to NIT Tiruchi's plan to set up a research park next year in 5,000 plus students from 300 plus schools gain knowledge over 300 Indian and international universities representatives punch up January 21st, 2023. Prominent educators from across the country got together for the fourth Satluj Career Fest 2023 held in virtual mode. Experts stressed on the need to inculcate life skills in students instead of road learning for living a meaningful life, successful and a happy life. The focus on the fest in this time was innovation and entrepreneurship as a key drive of the careers of the future. Region's largest career fest, Satluj Career Fest, was organized by Satluj Public School Sector 4 Panchkula with an aim to guide the students of classes 9th to 12th and their parents about various career opportunities. This was the third year that the event was hosted virtually, leading not only a pan India but international reach with the students' registration from all over the world. Rikrit Sirai, the managing director of Satluj Group of Schools, welcomed this esteemed guest and parents and students. This is the fourth time that we are hosting the Career Fest. Satluj School has started this initiative which is helpful for the students and a different form of career fairs where only universities interact with students. The idea behind holding such an event which originated five years ago was support to our students beyond the railings of our gates, helping and preparing them behind school line. Creed Sarai, co-chairman of Satluj Group of Schools, said a lot of hard work went into the planning of Career Fest which is one of the biggest career shows. He said 20 plus panelists deliberated on various aspects which helped the youth to choose proper careers. Anurag Chapati, Secretary of CBSE, while stressing on the need of inculcating life skills among the students, said the main objective of education was to develop a mind, body, soul. The such students turn out to become responsible students of citizens of country. The new education policy aims to introduce a different approach to education which was initially knowledge-based and root learning. Ratanlal Kataria, N.P. Ambala and former Union Minister in his inaugural message said Satluj Public School was contributing towards providing quality education and organized a career fest It will help students to make India self-dependent. Ranjita Mehta, Honorary General Secretary, Haryana State Council of Child Welfare said job scenario in J is changing in the country and only those with life skills can get employment opportunities. The efforts made by Satan's Public School in bringing all the expertise together for a meaningful discussion, their prominent speakers included dignitaries such as Harshinder Singh Brahm, Director of Secretary of Education Chandigarh, Dr. Parag Kalkar, Member of Sante of Savita Bhai Phone University, Pune, Dr. P.G. Singh, Founder and MD, Tainur Orthotics and Vice President, CII Punjab, Manmohan Saran, Senior Advocate and Dr. Dinesh Dahu, Immediate Past Executive Director of Nectar Life Sciences and Past Chairman, CII Chandigarh. Army took an initiative to encourage children for their upcoming Republic Day by providing children and youth the opportunity to showcase their talent by organizing a snow art competition at Neem Valley in Ramso Block of Ramban District. 
The PRO referred to Jammu said a large number of children of various groups of age from the villages of Neel were participated in the competition. The participants surprised the spectators with their innovative and innovation of art reflecting their hidden talent. Colonel Anand said the emotions were expressed by the means of art created out of snow and beauty was enhanced by adding colors to the snow sculptures. The enthusiasm, creativity, patriotism of the children added to the charm of the event, Colonel Anand said. All the participants were felicitated with the painting kits for the further encouragement them in pursuing their studies and taking art as a hobby. Announcing that the students have entered their weeks long protest, the minister said the various commissions appointed by the state government have given many suggestions to improve the quality of the institution. We have discussed all the recommendations with the students, Bindu told the media here. She said the main demand of the students was to remove the director. He resigned from the post on Saturday. We will appoint a new director and a search committee has been constituted for the purpose. The committee will be chaired by T.K. Charamachandran with Saji N. Karun and T.V. Chandran as members, she said. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Monday advised youngsters to read biographies of historical personalities to learn about the challenges they faced and how to overcome it. He is interacted with the birth and history of the Subhash Chandra Bose. Modi interacted with them on the Parakram Divas at his residence. These youngsters, a statement said, were selected under a Know Your Leader program to participate in the ceremony to honor Bose in Parliament's Central Hall. The statement said Modi engaged in a candid and free willing talk and discussed various facts of Bose's life and what can he be learnt from him? The youngsters shared their experiment on getting the unique opportunity to meet the Prime Minister and to sit in the Central Hall of Parliament, it said. That's all for today. Thank you for watching Education News Network. For more such videos, do log on to our website, theenn.com, and do not forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.